Hello guys, this is Lisa from The Crazy Foodies and today I have a St. Patty's inspired uh, spinach pasta gouda linguine. So if you are interested in checking out how I make this delicious pasta, then keep on watching. So the first ingredient that we're going to need is this linguine pasta and I got the spinach one so it's already green. I get it at Trader Joe's. If you don't if you can't find this, you can just buy regular linguine and add spinach at the end. Salt, butter. This is a pesto gouda cheese. Tomatoes for decoration, milk and flour. And I'm going to go ahead and add some salt to the water so that the pasta has a little bit of a taste. And as soon as your water is boiling, we're just going to put that pasta in there. And it is a really good tip to um, wait until the water is really, really boiling so that the pasta is ready even quicker. It usually only takes from like five to seven minutes. So... It's really easy pasta, I promise. So you can see that the pasta is boiling and cooking really quickly. And ta 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 <laughs> And then um, when the pasta is done, I just drained the water and you can see it's super green St. Patrick's super green and it smells delicious so now I'm just kind of shredding the cheese and the cheese is really really good it's a pesto gouda cheese um, so I'm gonna use quite a lot So to make the sauce, you're going to need um, butter. So I'm going to add uh, two tablespoons of the butter. So once the butter is already melting, um, you really want to first melt the butter. But once the butter is already melted, you're going to add the other ingredients for the sauce. So you're going to be adding the flour and you want to mix it well. Make sure that the flour is dissolved because then we're going to be adding the milk and it's going to turn into like a thicker um, cream. So you can see I'm adding the milk now and you want to mix it well and just leave it on low heat so that it doesn't burn or it doesn't, I don't know, just do it in low heat um, for best results. And I'm just, you know, making sure that everything is mixed together. And then after that, um, I'm going to, I think I added a little bit more milk and so you can see it's a thicker mix right now and then you add the cheese or whatever else you want to add to the sauce and i know i, I got a little messy it's really hard to record when, with one hand and then mix with the other hand so it was a, a big challenge but i think i managed and then you just mix it really well and then you're going to add it to your pasta as you can see look at that creamy sauce it's so good i'm super impressed it was really easy and really delicious and 
you want to mix it very well so that all of the linguine has um, the sauce, the pesto gouda sauce. And you just mix it really well. And that's pretty much it, you guys. It was super easy. It took me maybe, maybe like 15 minutes. It looks really, really good. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave comments down below if you um, want to see more. Thank you guys. See you next time.